The cost of getting the degree that could lead to a better job just went up at one local university today. The Board of Trustees at the University of South Alabama approved its fourth increase in tuition in as many years. Local 15's Darwin Singleton was there for that vote. He joins us to tell us why they did it and how some students feel about it. Well, Kim, campus is kind of quiet right now as most students are on summer break. But when they do return for the 2014-2015 school year, they'll be paying more for their schooling. But the sticker shock won't be extreme. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? And with that, the tuition at the University of South Alabama went up about 3.5% for the coming school year. The cost of meal plans and student housing will inch up a couple of percent, too. Few students we met today cared to even talk about it. Graduate students yeah, I mean, Cassie and Rachel were the exception, and they treated it as something that was, well, inevitable. I mean, I think, just like with everything, it stinks, but if it has to happen, it has to happen. I think we're getting our money's worth ah, for our tuition. I got gotcha. you. But the increase still is it. It's still good for money. anybody. Yeah. <laughs> still stinks, but mm -hmm. that's okay. The board's decision comes at a time when the university has a brand new president, and one of his first chores is now to explain why the hike. The tuition increase is quite modest. It's about $300. For new university president, Dr. Tony Waldrop, it's kind of like meeting your new in-laws for the first time and immediately asking them for a loan. But it's got to be done, he says. The cost of doing any business, every year things increase. We do not want to diminish the ratio of faculty to students. And just what will you be getting for that increase in tuition? You're getting a high quality education, you're getting a great student life, and you're able to have sons and daughters that come here, graduate, and will go on to very good jobs in the future. Is it worth an additional three and a half percent? Well, student government president Danielle Watson says she thinks so. They are doing the best they can to keep it at a bare minimum to make sure that we do keep the quality of faculty um, education and programs here at the university. You're convinced of that? Yes. Now, the increase will net the university about $3 million in additional operating funds. But Dr. Waldrop says they're working on a way to set aside a portion of that amount to further assist those struggling to meet tuition costs. Details on how that will work should be coming soon. Kim? Darren,